are you afraid of clowns? Do you creep out when you see that overly made up face? And hear their chilling laugh? I'm sorry for frightening you. Now, where was I? Oh yes, chorophobia. Chorophobia, or the fear of clowns, is more than just a mere joke. This profound dread can trigger severe panic and feelings of sickness. While it's not a common phobia, there's a sizable number of individuals who perceive clowns as eerie or downright terrifying. What's the reason behind this? A large part is due to the portrayal of sinister clowns in the media, like Pennywise from Stephen King's It 1986. But research suggests that there are genuine psychological underpinnings to this fear. To start, the makeup worn by clowns can be deeply disconcerting. It not only conceals the individual's true face, but also their emotions. The confusion intensifies when, for instance, a clown's painted smile conflicts with a real-life frown. Furthermore, the exaggerated facial features created by the makeup make the face appear human yet slightly askew. This strangeness is amplified by the clown's unconventional attire. Their unpredictable and mischievous behavior further unsettles people. Will they surprise you with a spray of water or offer you a flower? These inherent feelings of unease are further amplified by the negative representation of clowns in media. Some argue that the portrayal of the malevolent clown was cemented by the 1970s American serial killer, John Wayne Gacy, who would perform as Pogo the Clown at various events. His sinister depiction soon became a staple in horror films and literature. Thus, it's perhaps not a shock that a survey in 2016 revealed Americans feared clowns more than terrorist threats or even death. Why do clowns evoke feelings of discomfort? Several psychologists suggest that the anxiety arises partially from our inability to interpret genuine emotions on a clown's visage. When our capability to discern someone's emotions is obscured, it's unsettling because we're uncertain about their feelings, whether they're joyous, sorrowful, or irritated. This makes it challenging to anticipate their actions or know how to respond, describes a child anxiety specialist from the Child Mind Institute. Moreover, Clowns' unpredictable and exaggerated behaviors can evoke unease, especially among young children. Children often develop a fear of clowns at an early age, sometimes as young as four or five. Imagine a young child attending a birthday celebration, unprepared by their parents, only to be confronted by an oddly dressed individual with an exaggerated appearance and eccentric behavior. While some children might find this amusing, others might find it frightening, especially when they're placed in such an unfamiliar scenario without prior context. Those inherently inclined towards anxiety might experience an even more heightened response. Chorophobia, or fear of clowns, ranks among the most prevalent childhood phobias because children are more prone to developing phobias. It's important to manage them in time. This can prevent the phobia from getting worse, allow your child to attend Halloween parties, and make them feel safer altogether. How to get over the fear of clowns 1. Reframe and modify the way you think about clowns. Think through where your fear originated. Repeat to yourself that it is just a person wearing makeup, that it was just a movie that their purpose is to entertain and make you laugh. 2. Be present when a professional clown begins to apply their makeup and costume. Let yourself visually see that what's below the surface is truly human. 3. 
Expose yourself to clowns slowly, such as looking at photos of clowns online until your fear at the sight of one begins to lessen. 4. Go to a circus or production where you can have a seat far enough away that you can look at the object of your fear from afar and recognize that it can do nothing to harm you. And that ends our pre-Halloween topic. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode on the eerie world of scary clowns and the fascinating phenomenon of chorophobia. If you've ever felt that unsettling shiver down your spine at the sight of a clown, or wondered why these seemingly joyful figures ignite fear in so many, you're not alone. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and give us a like and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on more spine-tingling deep dives into our world's most intriguing mysteries. And remember, you can always leave your comments and suggestions down below. You may also want to watch What Will Happen If Insects Overpopulated and Ogre vs. Cap Pre. Until next time, remember, sometimes, beneath the painted smile, there's a story waiting to be unraveled. Stay curious, stay vigilant, and as always, sweet dreams.